If you walk into a room with a baby, you automatically start to change how you speak. Why do we do that? It turns out that people, including babies, learn best when we are challenged but not overwhelmed. This experience where we struggle productively is called optimal challenge. Here's how it works. Your brain makes predictions about the world based on all the data you've collected from experience and it updates its model when its predictions are wrong. A baby might see a furry animal and expect a dog, but when she points and says doggy, dad corrects her and says, that's a cat. Can you say cat? This acts as feedback for the baby to update its model. So how can we use the concept of optimal challenge when we're learning? It's probably obvious that if you don't challenge yourself, there's no prediction errors to learn from, but more struggle isn't always better either. Skipping a grade in school or getting a job that you're not qualified for won't necessarily force you to learn faster. It might just leave you more confused and exhausted. In education, the most analogous concept to optimal challenge is Zygotsky's zone of proximal development. It's a gap between what the learner can achieve independently and what they can achieve with assistance. The big takeaway here is a knowledgeable other that can simplify things. That allows you to work up to concepts that would otherwise be inaccessible. 